Okay, um, so this is the last question, and this is from Pete Gordon via Twitter. Um, he says, hi Damo, can I get 3.5 tips, not 4, not 3, <laughs> 3.5 <laughs> tips about writing a bio as an indie beginner singer-songwriter? Wow. <laughs> I wonder what a half a tip is. <laughs> just, just stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, writing a bio, as, and so I would, one of the questions I would ask is, what would the bio be for? Um, if it's for your social media, I think it's a very, very good question because I think there's such an untapped resource in this sort of field of about sections and write-ups that people bore the shit out of me. Whenever I go onto people's Facebooks, bands' Facebooks, and I go onto their write-up, I read three lines and I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm bored, I'm out. Mm. And you've got an opportunity and everything's an opportunity, but this is an opportunity to tell your story. And so I was with a band the other day, and um, it was Emdebus actually, these guys, who are brilliant, and I went to see them, had a chat about sort of their new album they've got coming out and what they're doing, and went up to their studio, it was really nice to see them. And I was saying, never forget, this band's been going for nearly 10 years. Yeah. So never forget that whilst you're 10 years later, um, you remember all of the little bits from the last time. You remember all of the story. But someone who's just joined your Facebook, they don't know the story. They don't remember this sort of stuff. They want to know these stories. They want to know how it started. They want to know the, the stuff that happened on the way. It, it just can't start from today. So you've got an opportunity to actually to tell your story. And I think that's what's good about a bio. You're saying, this is what we do, but come with me on a journey and let me tell you a story because that's what we love. Yeah. So you've got the opportunity to paint a picture. So for me, I would say, if you're gonna write a bio as a singer songwriter, then obviously your work's gonna do, you know, people are gonna see your work, but you've got another opportunity to, to fill in the gaps, which is more than just, do you like my songs? Mm. Or I do this. It can also be, this is how it started. And, 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 and you, can, you can get people to fall in love with what you do from painting a good picture. Yeah. So for me, writing a bio is a lot of work. And that's why people don't do it. Because it takes a long time and it, it's a lot of creativity. And people go, ugh, three-piece band from Cardiff playing rock music and people are like, okay, well that's just facts. Mm. That is boring, that's shit. Why don't you tell a story? How did you meet? If you were on the, the, the Graham Norton show or something and he was interviewing you, he would want more than facts. Yeah, he yeah. wouldn't want to know story. He would want to, he would want to know history. He would, want to know, he would want to know what you stand for. He would want to know what you're working towards. He would want to know what you see the future. You know, he, he would want to know the whole thing. He would want to know what makes you tick of why you're doing it, what you love. You know, as a songwriter, who are your influences? There's a big one. You know, I love these singer-songwriters. They really inspire me. Or, you know, for me, I'm like 70s production. I love, I just love, seven, I love vinyl because I love 70s production. And I know you can get vinyl in any, any era, but I just love the vinyl and, 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 and 70s production. It goes together well. You know, you could get all of these little bits of information into into a bio and it doesn't have to be long but I think I think it, people miss a trick yeah because it's just a way of tying you in of making people go look do you feel the same as me and they go I do feel the same as you so you know and my half a tip is never ever <laughs> and on that note <laughs> we are reaching the end of the show good so things to do Comment, 60 million win, hashtag 60 million win. You can do this on any of the, uh, of the platforms we've got and we'll be doing prizes every couple of days. The next one is going to be if you want to win a recording day, uh, day in the studio near you, I'm going to pay for it near you. I'm not going to pay for Abbey Road or Metropolis, but I'm going to find a studio that's near you. That's a, that's a normal everyday price and I'll pay for you to go in the studio. Um, then this, but I'll also probably be picking people out and doing Skypes. Uh, I want to do some more Skypes. I've got some time next week, so I'm going to book in some Skypes. So if you want to Skype with me and to work on some socials, then, then hit me up. So that's the thing to do. Um, and again, going back to the Taylor Swift, look after me, I will look after you. Go and subscribe to my YouTube. That makes the difference. You subscribe to my YouTube and, and make a comment on YouTube. I read it, I will notice it. You do the same thing on my Instagram, I will notice it. So put yourself about. Do some work on that. Good. In that case, have a good week. See you next week.